Hi, in this video, we are going to learn about fasting. Now, if you see throughout history, fasting has been observed by almost all religions for many centuries. It is of late that so-called experts say that fasting is dangerous and you should have four meals a day, five small meals a day, six meals a day and all that. But fasting has been observed in all religions as we all clearly know. If you know the science about fasting, you will understand how beneficial it is for the body. And especially if you are already on LCHF, fasting becomes quite easy. Dr. Jason Fung calls fasting the missing link of the weight loss puzzle. Let's see why he says that. There are three types of food that we eat. Carbohydrate, fat and protein. Now protein doesn't get stored as protein. When we eat protein, the body converts protein into amino acids and it's used up by the body. If there is excess of protein, then it gets converted into glycogen by a process called gluconeogenesis. The remaining two types of fuel are carbohydrate and fat. When we consume fat, it gets stored in the fat reserves of the body. When we eat carbohydrates, it gets converted into glycogen by the liver through a process called glycogenesis. But glycogen reserves are very limited, they are not unlimited reserves. The body can access the glycogen only for a certain limit. Though it is very easily accessible, there is a limit to access. So what happens to the excess? The excess gets converted into fat by a process called de novo lipogenesis and it is stored in the fat reserves of the body. Now where is fat stored in the body? It's stored in three forms. One is subcutaneous fat, which is below the skin. This is the fat that is visible when we look at somebody. We say, oh, this person is overweight or obese or fat. So it's visible because it's right under the skin. There is another kind of fat which may be present both either in thin people or in fat people. It's called visceral fat. Now, visceral fat surrounds vital organs like the kidney, liver, pancreas, etc. Sometimes when people are thin, they still have visceral fat. You can get to know that only by taking a scan. This is called thin on the outside, fat on the inside, TOFI. These people look lean, but there will be fat covering their vital organs. Third is fat is stored in the liver. That's why some people have fatty liver disease. Now what happens when we fast? When we fast, Dr. Jason Fung uses a simple illustration to explain this. He says your glycogen reserves are the refrigerator and the fat reserves are the freezer. Not the small freezer that's in your fridge itself, but the big freezers that we see say, um, for example, in ice cream shops, uh, you know, the ones that you keep in your basement or the garage. These are huge freezers as compared to the refrigerator which is not very big and has a limited storage. Now, when we eat, it's similar to going out to the supermarket and buying stuff. So you buy stuff and you put it in the refrigerator. Now when you finish the stuff that's in the refrigerator, what we are doing now is we are going out to the supermarket again and stocking the refrigerator. And then we start using what's in the refrigerator, which is we eat and it's in the glycogen reserve. As we know, the glycogen reserve is limited. So the excess gets stored in the freezer. Now, once the fridge is empty, if we eat again to fill up the glycogen reserves, it is equivalent to going to the supermarket again and filling up the fridge again. And once the body uses that, there is excess the excess gets converted as fat and stored in the freezer. So we are repeating the cycle over and over again of stocking the fridge and moving the excess to the freezer and this freezer is getting bigger and bigger which is to say our fat reserves are becoming bigger and bigger. So what happens when we fast? When we fast, we stop going to the supermarket buying stuff and putting them in the refrigerator. What we are doing instead is we are stopping accessing stuff from the refrigerator. We are going down to the basement freezer 
and taking out what is there and using it. We are eating what is in the freezer. That is to say, our body starts eating out of its own fat reserves. There is excess fat already and the body starts eating out of it instead of accumulating more and more. This is what happens when fasting. And this is how people lose weight and lose their visceral fat and reduce their cholesterol numbers because instead of accumulating more, they are using what's already in the freezer. This is fasting. Now it's easy for people who are already on the LCHF way of eating to fast. The reason being, the body is used already to using fat as a fuel instead of carbohydrate as a fuel. The body is used to that. Now when people who are on LCHF for quite some time, say several weeks or several months and then they fast, since the body is already used to using fat as a fuel, it immediately and easily goes to the freezer and gets the fuel and loses weight. So if you are already on LCHF, fasting becomes very easy for you. So to know more about LCHF and to know more about fasting, go check out our website indianlchf.com. Thanks.